So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the all the states, um, I am making a statement concerning the ongoing uprooting of baobab trees in Kilifi County. And this comes further to a directive by His Excellency the President um, that the Ministry looks into the ongoing uprooting of the said trees in Kilifi. And this is how I would like to present the statement. I would like to bring to the attention of the nation the following. Uh, that a private company and communities in Kilifi County entered into an agreement to uproot eight baobab trees for export from Tezo location in Kilifi County to Georgia. The company consequently applied for an access permit from the National Environment Management Authority on the 28th of October 2022. That independency of the access permit approval by the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, the private company went ahead and started approaching the said trees irregularly. NEMA followed this action with a restoration order stopping the illegal activity. Um, upon realization that uh, the said illegal activities were still ongoing, and NEMA went to court to stop the process. Seemingly undeterred, the private company obtained a NEMA Environmental Impact Assessment license irregularly issued by the County Director of Environment in Kilifi County. It is worth noting that Kenya is signatory to the International Convention on Biodiversity, CBD, which the country ratified in 1994, as well as the Nagoya Protocol to the CBD, which again we ratified in 2014. The Convention for Biodiversity has three objectives, which include conservation of biodiversity, sustainable use of components, and fair and equitable use of the benefits arising from the said genetic resources, which could enable this kind of activity to go on, subject to strict compliance with due process. Nonetheless, plant, plant variety protection is a form of intellectual property. The process of uprooting the baobab trees needs adequate authorization and a clear and transparent benefit sharing formula for the community affected, which evidently was not obtained regularly in this case. Uh, la uh, ladies and gentlemen, baobab trees are a unique species and part of our nat natural heritage protected under the Constitution of Kenya of 2010. Under the Constitution, the state is obligated to protect and enhance intellectual property in an indigenous knowledge of biodiversity and the genetic resources of the communities. This is under Article 69C of the Constitution. Consequently, I would like to state the following. One, I am in possession of a letter from the National Environment Management Authority cancelling the environment impact, environmental impact assessment license that the said private company used to approve the said trees. Consequently, I have with immediate effect instructed the Kenya Forest Service to cancel the movement permit that had been issued to allow for the transportation of the baobab trees pending a comprehensive assessment of this case. Number two, I have consulted with the Cabinet Secretary for Roads, Transport and Public Works, and we have agreed that the baobab trees should not be exported out of the country until the agreements between the parties are properly regularized and the adequate authority as well as benefit sharing formula 
in line with the Convention for Biodiversity and the Nagoya Protocol, not to mention the Kenyan Constitution, are obtained and duly executed. Number three, firm administrative action shall be taken against any government officer within the ministry's agencies that did not follow the due process. Number four, I would also like to appreciate the many Kenyans who have come out strongly on various uh, media fora that have constantly brought to the fore issues of environmental degradation. I wish to urge Kenyans to keep eternal vigilance in safeguarding our environment. Number five, in addition to the existing uh, National Environment Management Authority, NEMA hotline, I will immediately establish a Ministry of Environment and Forestry hotline where whistleblowers can help us in the efforts uh, for environmental uh, conservation and protection. Number six, I have also instructed the environment lead agencies, that is NEMA, KFS and, and others, to immediately streamline the issuance of environmental impact assessment licenses, movement and access permits, and such other instruments that allow for appropriation of our natural resources. Number seven, I have instructed the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, to strictly st stick to the need for categorization of projects as low, mid, and high risk projects. And this is in line with the second schedule of the Environmental Management and Coordination Act. This is in the issuance of EIA licenses and administrative actions to follow where there is any breach of this categorization to prevent activities like this from happening in future. Lastly, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to assure Kenyans that as a government, we are on course with our plan to increase our national tree cover to 30% in the next 10 years by planting 15 billion trees. We as a ministry will not condone any retrogressive steps that would derail these efforts. And allow me to add that uh, I have just come from uh, the COP27, which is the international conference on climate change. And as a country, we are extremely committed to climate action. And this has been demonstrated uh, in many actions that we are taking, including the very ambitious plan to plant 15 billion trees in the next 10 years. And we need the support of each and every Kenyan. We want the buy-in of individual Kenyans, the buy-in of the private sector, the buy-in of our development partners, and even non-governmental organizations because the issue of climate change should be a concern for each and every one of us. We don't need to state the adverse effects that we are faced with as a country and as a globe um, around uh, climate change. The drought that we are faced with currently as a country has uh, led to the loss of close to three million uh, livestock and uh, very serious cases of food insecurity. So for me, um, as I say that we will not condone everybody, anybody who would want to take us back. We are moving forward um, in conserving our environment to make sure that uh, we are secure as a nation and also contributing to the efforts being made globally uh, to stabilize our environment. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if there are no questions, I have uh, copies that you can take away for the statement. Thank you. Yes.
Yes. Uh, ya kuanza kupanda tumeanza tayari actually uh, the fact of the matter is that there are very there are various efforts uh, tree planting efforts going on in the country i have met um, individuals i have met non governmental organizations uh, private sector players who are involved in tree planting the task ahead of me is to coordinate these efforts and uh, we are going to put in place a tracking mechanism to take tab we already know the statistics of where we are uh, in tree cover we are at 12.3 percent and we are taking it to 30 percent in the next 10 years so the efforts are ongoing we are going to intensify and we will have a tracking mechanism to see where we stand in the run-up to the 15 billion thank you one more um i am uh, aware i left the cop 27 before the conclusion but i know that uh, the resolutions that have been arrived at i would say they are good ones and uh, very disturbing ones one of the good ones is that uh, the text the final text has made a clear statement on the question of financing loss and damage loss and damage is we are saying as uh, developing countries we are making the least contribution in terms of global warming yet when it comes to the loss and damage we are facing the harshest form of loss and damage um, and with that we are saying that uh, the developed countries who are contributing african countries are, are, are contributing less than four percent to global warming the developed uh, countries are contributing 80 percent and then when it comes to who suffers the most it's the other way around so we are saying for those that have the financial muscle let them contribute to alleviating the suffering that we are faced with as the developing countries there is a lot of uh, politics around that and it is not clear um, the political will is missing so for me, that is a, down, a downside of the COP27. Um, but the fact that there is an admission that actually the loss and damage uh, needs to be supported to alleviate the suffering is of importance. Uh, the other discomforting aspect of the, of the outcome of the COP27 is the fact that there is um, a deliberate attempt to not accept the special needs and circumstances for Africa, which again ties to who contributes the most, who suffers the most. Yeah. President, yes. Um, are you from CDB today? Mm -hmm. You have mentioned in your action plan, NEMA and KSS and other agencies which are very clear and And you pointed out the issues of license and the categorization is to Uh, with regard to this particular matter, the import first I'll, I'll address the issue of categorization. The need for categorization is very critical. The baobab trees, the cutting of baobab trees, because it's, it's a huge heritage for our country of cultural significance to the people of the coast. It is then at the level of a high risk activity, which requires a high level of scrutiny in any form of appropriation. So that is why it's very important. When it comes to action against uh, government officials, 
that are involved in any malpractice in the issuance of uh, impact assessment licenses. I have just said that uh, this is a process that we, I am keenly looking into and uh, people have to take responsibility because we cannot be saying we are moving forward and some people are moving us back. Yeah. Thank you very much. Showing, showing what? Showing that KFS official mm -hmm. was doing my property test mm -hmm. after destroying our mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. But since then, nothing seems to have been moving. Um, <coughs> it is uh, in the ambit of what I have said. This is just an isolated case which needs uh, an in-depth in analysis and appraisal to establish if there is any culpability on the side of government officials and the necessary action will be taken. So if such a report does exist, it is where we will start from. Uh, because as, as the ministry, we have to lead from the front and Kenyans to follow us in our initiatives. Asante Nisana.